John at Geo Ventures Outdoors, and today I'd like to wish you a very happy Fun Knife Friday. And it's an exciting day here at Geo Ventures Outdoors because the next traveling knife, the Kershaw Chill, has arrived at Geo Ventures Outdoors. And so we're going to talk about this in just a few minutes. And uh, but first, I wanted to talk about the traveling knives that was started just a few months ago by Tom at Knife Delights. And uh, what happened is, uh, you know, YouTube channel creator, uh, content creator buys a knife. They do their own review and then they send it on to other participating channels to do their reviews and videos. And so that's what Tom did. And he started with the Elk Ridge uh, Stockman knife and it's on its 10th channel. And I actually have a playlist that I'll link below of all of the videos on all of the traveling knives. And then North Star Knife Reviews, he bought the Kershaw Chill, which we're going to talk about here in a minute, and also the Elk Ridge Bowie. And the Elk Ridge Bowie, I think it's on its like fourth uh, channel. And I believe the Kershaw Chill, I think I'm the fourth channel to look at it. And then it'll move on to other channels. Um, likewise, JW Greenbaum has uh, uh, purchased and started a, uh, traveling knife. Uh, it's a Knipix, I think, knife of some sort, and I can't remember the model. Sorry about that, but um, then you'll see some videos on that traveling knife as well in the future. So, very good. We've got like four traveling knives all over the place, and, uh, uh, and with uh, YouTube channels doing great reviews on those. So, uh, today I got the Kershaw Chill from RJ's Knives. Thank you, RJ, for sending this over. Um, uh, and uh, with each uh, review, when we send it on to the next channel, we send uh, often send a note and some uh, swag, maybe some stickers and a gift. And RJ's done the same. And so I've got a nice note here from RJ. Hey, John, just a note to let you know that I enjoy your channel and your awesome leather work. Thank you, RJ. Um, you bring a fresh perspective to your uh, reviews. I have uh, included some stickers uh, that I had. I really need to get some more uh, and made up. I understand that, RJ, no problem. Uh, I'll look forward to getting those sometime. I hope you enjoy these. Looking forward to your review, your friend, RJ. Thank you, RJ. Appreciate it very much. And you haven't, if you haven't checked out RJ's Knives, that channel is awesome. He does a great job. He has live events every Sunday. Um, just an awesome guy. Really appreciated getting to know him. And uh, so I appreciate that very much. So he had some stickers and I picked out just a few. I'm going to send some of these others on to the next channel, which I'll tell you who that is in a minute. And, but I picked these up because I love coffee. And uh, I thought these were really cool, really cool. And then also there was a peanut lighter in there. So I, I grabbed this because I've been wanting one of these that has a Blade HQ logo on it and it's brass. And I was able to put some fluid in it and look at that. So that is cool. Thank you so much, RJ. I've had that on my keychain. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. I'm a big Zippo fan, and uh, so I've really enjoyed that. Also got a Kaiser cleaning cloth. I can use that on the Kaiser that I got recently. So, um, so I just really enjoy these. So today we're talking about the Kershaw Chill, um, and here it is. It is about a 3.1 inch blade. HCR 13 MOV steel, uh, RJ Martin design, um, 3410 is the model number, made in China. Um, the pocket clip, very slim, very nice, works great. G10 handles, uh, you, can re you can put the pocket clip tip up if you want. It's tipped down at the moment. I kind of like it that way. Um, has a lanyard hole, which I've added a nice black paracord lanyard with snake knots and black wooden beads. So if someone down the line wants to take that off, they can, but I like lanyards. They help me retrieve the knife from my pocket. They also give me a little more grip for a smaller knife. Um, and they just look cool. 
I'm just a lanyard fan. And uh, so this knife's really slim, um, very smooth. Um, I think it'd be a really great slicer. Um, I'm going to test it out more here before I send it on. Um, but I've enjoyed carrying this. Uh, I've been carrying this today, and uh, it's just a nice knife. I really like it. Really like it. Less than two ounces. It's got this really great uh, backspacer here. And nice G10, grippy G10 handles. Um, feels good in the hand. Very smooth. I've uh, been fidgeting with it a little bit. If you didn't want to open it with the flipper, you could just do this. Just pinch it right up here. And it works great. So I've really, I've really enjoyed carrying this. Um, I thought I'd compare it against a couple other knives. The first one is the Kershaw Leak. Now this is assisted opening, of course, a little more expensive knife. This runs about $30, less than $30, a little less. And this is, you know, right around, depends on what model you get, anywhere from, I think, $30, $40 to $60 or more. Um, and uh, this one I got used. Uh, it's missing part of the blade. It should be a, a worn clip blade, but um, you can kind of see size comparison here. Um, about the same size, about the same thickness, or just assisted opening, not assisted opening. A little less expensive, a little different steel. This is, I think, 14C28N steel. And um, so a little different. And then the other knife I thought of was uh, the Rat Model 2. And um, as I try to flip it there, and it says Aus 8 steel, about a three inch blade. It's about 25, I think I paid about $25 for this particular model. Uh, again, it's the Aus 8. You can get this in D2 uh, steel, and you can kind of see the comparison there. Uh, move these over in frame just a little bit. So those are some comparisons. I like this knife. I really like this knife. I like the thinness. I like the weight. I like the action. Um, uh, it's very cool. Very cool. And so um, uh, I think if you have a chance to, to take a look at it, uh, I, I probably would. It might be a little pricey for the steel. I think uh, Eric at Wasted Beer Money mentioned that in his video. I think I probably have to agree, although I like HCR 13 MOV steel. It's a budget steel, but it's easy to sharpen. And hey, it cuts. So there is the next traveling knife. It goes to Knife Delights, Tom at Knife Delights next. So look forward to uh, watch his video, check out his channel. Uh, he's got History Lights as well excellent channels so check out tom's channels as well and uh, thank you rj for everything thank you north star knife reviews for starting this traveling knife and thank you all for watching